It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. I'm joined by Gar. How are you doing, Gar? I'm doing fine. How are you? Yeah. And you're the brewer for Seven Shell Brewery. Yeah, that's right. It's fantastic, fantastic. Um, you mean Seven Hills? Seven Mountains. Seven Mountains in yep. in English. Yep. And you started in 2015 or uh, 14? Uh, actually, the brewery was founded in 2013. Okay, uh, yeah. And we brewed a few batches at a different brewery. Uh, before we opened our own and our first batch was brewed in our own brewery in 2014. Okay. Uh, basically three years ago now. Reviewed a lot of your beers at the beginning. Yeah. I thought they were fantastic. Thank you. Um, my father-in-law, who's not really a beer drinker, uh, we had, um, I think we had a cherry season, uh, a, either a raspberry or a cherry season for me right back. It was a fruit beer. It was a yeah, we made a couple of sours with uh, some fruit beer. Some, yeah. some, like a cherry sour or something then, but it was fantastic. We, Thank you. And I, and I managed to kind of convert him with that beer to, to, to a really good beer. Yeah, he he just fine. thought beer was like, kind of like lagers and, and that type of thing. But yeah, he's a real foodie, so I knew yep. he, once I introduced him that was it. And yeah, he's sold on the whole craft fantastic, beer thing now. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, this is Gamel Hull. Gamla Hoen. Gamla Hoen. And this is a 2014. Yes. Vintage. So it's been left in oak barrels? Or? No, it's just been left in the keg, basically. Yeah. It's, uh, it's you know, uh, English style old ale, 8.7%. Wow. Uh, based on an old homebrew recipe that I brewed for years and years. Okay. It looks good. Great lacing on the glass. It looks like an old ale. Nice and yeah. dark and, and yeah. And what a beer to have with the fjord in the back. It's nice a today, lovely, yeah. lovely day. Let's uh, get the aroma. Picking up some like uh, maybe some really dark fruit and spice. Yeah. Um, maybe like a plum or a fig or, oh, yeah, or sure. something like that. Yeah. Dried fruits, maybe some raisins yeah. and uh, prunes. Yeah. And, and some caramel, caramel yeah, malt, sure. yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, let's let's drive in. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, really good mouthfeel. It's the first thing I like to kind of talk about. If if the mouthfeel is great, is the mouthfeel because you can quickly lose it with the flavors and talking about flavors. And so I like to start with with mouthfeel. It's got all of the mouthfeel you'd expect from an old ale. Yep. It's, it's rich, it's dense, it's, it's bold, yep. it's, it's lovely. And then them rich, deep fruits come through on the back end of the yep. flavor with the caramel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also get a bit of the dark sugars that we've been using in it, but there's some, some basically some brown, dark brown sugar that's added yes. to the kettle. And I think Absolutely. that enhances the, sort of this sort of a, a rummy flavor to it, which yes. I really like. Rummy well, yeah. and maybe a touch of vanilla in yep. it as well. Yep. Which, yeah, it's a very, very good beer. So, you have the 2016 edition as well in there? Yes. How is do. this, we don't have the two beers side by side, but if you'd like to explain, how has this evolved over over time uh, in the keg? Um, I think it takes on a more like a, I don't know how to explain in English, but like sort of a more port wine character, maybe. Yeah. Uh, you get uh, some oxidation, obviously, and. But there, I mean, there's not much hops in here anyway, but um, you also have the, the malts that start to oxidize and you get more and more of that, the, the, like the, the, the dried fruit flavors you were uh, yeah. talking about. Uh, of course, those are more present in this one. Yeah. And it also feels uh, a bit drier. I mean, it's still a very full beer and, and it's uh, it's got some sweet flavors to it. But the, the oldest version definitely feels drier. Um, it's picked up a bit of carbonation in the yeah. in the keg because obviously it's not pasteurized. Uh, so that would, especially initially when you drink it, that will affect the, the mouth feel and you know yeah. uh, the way the beer is perceived. So it kind of adds to the dryness. Um, but I still think I mean the 2016 version is definitely still a, a very good beer. You have the same flavors in it. The recipe is exactly the same for yeah. both uh, both years, but. Uh, uh, you have you have more of, of the fruity characters yeah. or characteristics in this one, definitely. So, 
to finish on this, we've talked about the past. Yeah. Where's seventh show going in the future? Oh, uh, total world domination. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I. Uh, I mean. Um, We've been through uh, a period of some heavy expansion lately where yeah. we've added uh, a canning line with uh, new fermenters and so on. So we've basically lately just been brewing a lot of beer to, yeah, to, yeah. to you know, because we, we need to sell beer. But yeah. of course we, we would like to um, come to a point where we have tank capacity uh, to brew the beers we need to brew and then also to, to experiment and do a lot of different things because yeah, yeah. that's not been the case like for the last uh, few months really we've just been brewing what whatever we needed to brew so uh, doing you know diverse yeah interesting styles you want to get back yeah. to, to kind of do it now yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Well, the beer, I'm a massive fan of the brewery. Thank massive you. Massive fan of the beer. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, love to try your cans. Oh, yeah, Love sure. to try the cans. When the cans are ready, love to, yeah, love to, to get them uh, in the kitchen. Yeah, we've already canned a couple. Yeah. Uh, a Pilsner and uh, an American style pale ale. So Excellent, yeah, I'll get I'm sure them. we can uh, sort something out. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys, for joining me. Thank you. Uh, please check these guys out, Sam Pierre. Uh, comment, subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers. Stone the crows. Stone the crows! Yeah, I should rate it. Yeah. I should rate it, shouldn't uh. I? Here we go. Mm. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. A really, really fantastic beer. As you mentioned, the, the, I've not tried, tried the previous version, but I like that kind of carbonation. The mouthfeel, yeah. lots of the dark fruits. Lots of that little bit, of, well, not too much, but some sugar in there, the brown sugar you mentioned. It's a lovely beer. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Excellent. 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please comment, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.